now in this lecture we are learning about the extension to the generalized linear model okay now how the uh, how to general how to extension the logistic regressions to find a generalized linear model so some to extend it there some to by extensions using the extensions of logistic regressions Sample. We are here using the extensions of logistic regressions. We are built the generalized linear model. Okay. So simple. We if we just uh, remember the probabilistic intuition. Probabilistic intuitions of the logistic regressions. Just if you remember it, probabilistic intuition. Then you can easily easily find it is a two type based. First, in probabilistic intuitions, first we assume that this is a Gaussian naive first assume it is a Gaussian naive based distributions and plus it is Bernoulli distributed. Gaussian it follow the Gaussian naive based and all as well it is Bernoulli. Bernoulli distributed. So in probabilistic intuition chapter we are learn about it. Now, by changing simply this Bernoulli concept, we are by simple changing the Bernoulli concept, we are extended these logistic regressions to, to the generalized linear model. Now, the first is this logistic regressions is simple, we are learned it is a two class classification model. class classification model simple now by simple if we want to build a multinomial logistic regressions if we want to just build a multinomial it is a two class classifications and now here we want to build simple multi class classification multinomial logistic regressions or linear regressions as you call here simply we are using but here we are using multinomial distribution If we want to, so if you want to build the multinomial distributions, then here in the place of Bernoulli distributions, here we are using, here we are using multinomial distribution. Okay. If we want to build the linear regression, if you want to build the linear regressions, then in the place of Bernoulli distributions, here we are using this probability, probability of y of given x, it is probability of y for a given x, it is what it follows the normal distributions with, non, with mean mu and standard deviation sigma square, variance sigma square, simple. It is multinomial multi class classifications. It is a linear regression. This is a regression classifier. Regression technique. It is simply it is not a classification technique and linear. It is a regression technique. Just we see in the next chapter when we learn the regression linear regression chapter, then in the next chapter we will see it.
linear regression technique means what? Simple our OII belongs to real number. They are not an integer. Now, now the next is that Poisson regression. Okay. In the first in multinomial logistic regressions, in the place of Barnard distributions, here we are using multinomial distributions. In the linear regressions, in the place of Barnard distributions, here we are using this probability which obeys the normal distributions with mu with mean mu and sigma square. It is simply a regression technique. And in Poisson regressions, here we are using Poisson distribution. Okay, Poisson distributions. Simple, it is usable for, it is usable for predict counts. It is usable to predict counts. Okay, so simply as well, Poisson distributions, some authors are called Poisson distributions, a count random variable. Okay. Some authors it is called as a count random variable. And simple, if we take an example of this, if we take an example of this, and to predict the number of machines and which time it is failed in next 10 days. So, is example is predict the number of times. A machine would fail <laughs> in next 10 days. Okay, simple, it predicts the count. So, as in this example, we have seen in a company, you have to predict. For a machine, we have to predict this machine how much time it will working its work was. Uh, it fails in the next 10 days. So simple for counting purpose, we have using here Poisson distributions for regression purpose by using our linear regressions for multinomial classification. Simple, just write down it. It is the it helps us. It helps us to multi-class classification technique. Multi. Okay, it helps us to for multi-class classification technique. So this thing, this kind of things are called the generalized linear model. Simple. This time, simple. Just we have you changing the uh, Bernoulli distributions for S distributions. We are derived to S model. For if we use the multinomial distributions, then we have got the multinomial linear regressions. If we use this probability, that's over the uh, normal distribution, then we got the linear regressions. If you use the Poisson distribution, then we got the Poisson regressions. Okay. So it is uh, just here according to our usage. So we are building according uh, this model. So this kind of models are called the generalized linear model. In the next chapter, we will detail in detail. We will learn it. Okay. So this logistic regressions, if we call logistic regressions, is as well a linear regressions. Simple. If we call logistic regressions, it is one kind of generalized linear regressions. All these kind of things are generalized linear regression. Genial, uh, generalized linear model. Okay. So, in next chapter, we will learn about in details about the generalized linear regressions. Okay. I think uh, it is the last lecture in the series of uh, logistic regressions. I think uh, all of you are, you have no problem. And uh, I think I am clearly discuss about the details concept of logistic regressions, 
how it useful and how it what is application what is it applications in real world how to visualize this thing graph geometrically as well as analytically and uh, i think i will discuss this i i think i discussed this in brief as well as discuss as well as uh, in a mathematics standpoint point of view and also geometric point of view okay if you have any doubt please comment below i will try to solve it okay and if you are uh, if you want to learn it in or depthly if you want to visualize this mathematics or depthly then please please search it on google scholar or elsewhere you can find that many many kind of research paper okay thank you